Hey Diamonds, it's your girl Eva Teray right back at you with yet another video. Thank you so much for joining me again. To our newbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the Diamond Fan Bam. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below and also the notification bell so that you will be made aware as soon as I drop another video. Today I wanted to get into something that was super dark, vampy, Halloween's coming up, and I wanted to rock this black lip. I recently picked up the Fenty Beauty Uninvited and I I am in love. If you don't have a black liquid lipstick, you need to be jumping on this bandwagon. It is retails for about $24 at your local Sephora. While I was there, I also picked up the Unveil as well. The other two colors that it came in really didn't suit my skin tone, but I am happy that I was able to pick up these two. So you will definitely be seeing these a lot in the near future, I definitely predict. Alright, for my eyeshadow for this look, I wanted to do something really simple, something that anybody could do, and I only used this one little palette. I used a 3A Deep Smoky by Morphe, and when I tell you that this black is amazing, I ordered this when I ordered my boss mood palette and as you know if you watched that previous video I'll link it above when I received that palette my black was broken but once I started playing with this black in this palette I have fallen absolutely in love when it goes on it looks like it's wet like it has a sheen to it and I am all the way here for it so we have flash which is like a copper plenty color we have uh, smoky which is a really chocolatey um, brown which I love almost like a reddish brown and then we have the black which is called darkness I am definitely gonna run out to my local Ulta and grab another one of these just so I can have a backup of that black so let's get into it All right, jumping right in, I am going to grab one of my fluffy blending brushes. Now this, I got off Amazon, it's a no-name brush, but any fluffy blending brush will do for this. Taking that uh, brown, deep brown shade and putting it in my crease and slightly above. shade brush I am going to pick up that deepest color which is the black and apply that to my lid in my crease and slightly above you'll see me patting the color onto my lid that allows the color to build itself up I won't start using any blending motions until I get up into my crease area but we'll get to that a little bit later for now, you just want to pack that color on so that it will be its deepest. Going back in with that first no-name fluffy, fluffy blending brush. Um, it wasn't doing exactly what I wanted, so I did go in with my Morphe M433, which is a blending brush that's a little bit more dense. And I took some of that dark brown and some of the black, mixed it together just on the tip, just a tad bit, just so that I could blend those edges. So I spent a couple minutes doing that. I'm 
going to apply my CoverGirl highlight in Candlewood using my Real Techniques Insta Pop Crease Brush. And I'm also going to blend it out as well with my finger. Switching gears to my face, I am going to start off with my Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector and I'm going to mix in a tad bit of my Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. For my foundation, I'm going to use my Revlon Colorstay Full Cover Foundation in 420 and I'm going to apply that with a Kabuki Top Nameless Brush that I got off Amazon. For concealer, I chose Tarte Shape Tape in Deep. I really should have bought the Cover FX's new concealer Friday when I went to Sephora, but I was trying to be good. I wasn't really trying to go over a certain amount of money, but I knew I was going to regret it later, and I am regretting it. I am blending that out with my Sonia Kashuk um, blending Beauty Blender. It split on me while I was washing it, but I wasn't going to throw it away because it's still fairly new. I don't use it often, so yeah. As usual, I'm going to contour using my Black Radiance Contour Palette in Medium Deep. I'm also going to take my BH Cosmetic Brush number 125 to blend that, apply it and blend that out. BH Cosmetic Brushes are awesome. They are a great bang for your buck. So if you are new to makeup, you're starting out, you want to build your collection, I would definitely recommend um, trying a few of those out. You won't be disappointed. For my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Estee Edit The Barest Bronzer in Medium Deep. I am going to apply that with my Ulta Beauty Powder Brush. I did apply some of that bronzer to contour my nose. I did use a BH Cosmetics brush, although I can't find it at the moment to give you guys the number. If I do happen to run across it, I will leave it in the description box below. I then went in with my Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush just to blend it out to make sure there's no rough edges. I'm applying my blush with another no-name brush that I got off Amazon. To line my waterline, I'm going to go in with my Aveda Eye Definer in Black Orchid. Then I'm going to take a, another no-name pencil brush that I got from Amazon and dip it in that darkness and apply that to my lower waterline as well, blending it into that Black Orchid. highlight I like to lay down a primer first because my eyelids are so oily it'll just come off and for that I like using my NYX glitter primer and with that same cover girl highlight I used earlier for my brown bone I'm going to go back in and highlight the rest of my face
Last but not least, I am gonna pop on my Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Uninvited. I absolutely adore this lipstick. It is limited edition, so ladies, go out and get it before it is gone. Well, Diamonds, this is a completed look. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so, so much for your support. And Diamonds, as always, until next time.